humans of planet Earth, welcome back to JRE in Anocho. Today we're gonna talk about the interview with Michelle Dowd. She grew up in a cult from, I think she was born there, from the time she was born until her late teens. So she has a pretty interesting and fun story to tell. But before, as usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, press that bell, tell your friends, and we're in all of the social media. The word of mouth is the most important, so please share as much as you can. So, Michelle Dowd, um, she has a book about her story, growing up in the cult and all that stuff. Um, pretty cool. The cult used to call used to be called the Field. Uh, I don't know what happened. Maybe I missed it. I don't think they said anything in the interview about what happened with the cult at the end. She just left, I think. But I don't really know what happened to the leader or, like I said, maybe I missed it. So in this case, I guess you would like this conversation if you are interested in all of this anthropological kind of view that has to do with cults. Very present nowadays because of the woke cult. We already know it's a cult, not a movement or anything like that. So that's why it's relevant uh, but yeah it's uh let me say that i was not really that interested in it there's some aspects of the conversation that were really cool and they also speak about manipulation between kids and adults she was a child when she was brainwashed by this cult and of course they speak they say that yeah when you're a child you have no chance but it's pretty interesting how these mid-30s people get completely brainwashed and joined cults like this they must have a pretty shitty life i would say uh, she spent a lot of time in nature so they speak a lot about light pollution and the watching seeing the stars and that feeling that you get of humbleness when you see the sky full of stars away from the city it is a pretty cool feeling and i do recommend people to check it out from time to time don't stick don't get stuck in the concrete jungle so often uh, she gives also several survival tips. Uh, if you get lost in the woods, what you should do, how to how to de distill water from your urine. Crazy, <laughs> funny, funny shit. And they finish talking about dreams. And Joe gives a tip for those people that like experimenting with dreams. First of all, if you smoke weed, obviously during the time that you're smoking weed, the dreams go down a little bit. So if you stop then the dreams get really intense and then joe says a pro tip is use alpha brain before sleeping or some kind of nootropic it's called i don't really know some alpha brain stuff before sleeping and apparently your dreams go fucking wild so yeah pretty interesting conversation not a huge fan but kind of interesting topic i would give it three knots i would say and yeah, if you're interested in the topic, definitely check it out. And that's it for me, guys. Don't forget to stay for the quote of the week, uh, the quote of the day. And also, don't forget that I have nothing to do with your Rogan or the your Rogan experience. This plus the other topics they spoke about, plus movies, books, everything they mentioned down in the description. So thanks again, and I will see you next time. Peace. So what has been the most useful to you in being the kind of person you want to be? Um, time. Time's a big one. Um, learning over time. Experiences. Introspective thought. Making decisions based on truth rather than, thing, than based on what you want to believe. Hmm. And just the accumulation of life experiences like a life well lived and then psychedelic drugs. <laughs> yeah. Those have been very effective. Those are the big ones. Those the psychedelic drug breakthroughs are the ones where you you I always say that it's like control alt delete for your brain. Hmm. And then your your brain reboots with a fresh desktop. But now there's only one folder in that desktop and that folder says my old bullshit. And you have a decision. Either you open up that folder and start behaving exactly how you used to because you have a pattern that you're accustomed to. Or you try to re-engage with the world, re-interface with the world with this newfound experience as a guide.